we're at the glorious site of the Cotswolds Golf and Spa Hotel for a round of golf later with our partners. So, chaps, I just want to ask you a few questions about our um, relationship with Bridgeworks. So, Mike, um, first question, why has Navola chosen Bridge Bridgeworks as a vendor? Navola chose Bridgeworks as a vendor because in our portfolio we see there's a gap where a lot of our partners are looking for connectivity but at the same time looking at ways how they can deliver the packets from A to B in the most uh, practical economic uh, way. With Bridgeworks that, there's a number of ways we can do that and men that our partners can continue the conversations with their end users when they talk about uh, WAN connectivity, optimization, acceleration. And that's where we saw Bridgeworks being an English company as well. We like that. Um, and also the way they understand they do the technology with AI is obviously quite a good talking point. David, tell me just what does Bridgeworks do? We are in the, in the market of high speed, high capacity data transfer with a technology using AI that overcomes the effect of latency, packet loss, and congestion. So it gives you your full bandwidth capability of the WAN rather than just a small percentage of it. What's the difference between average WAN versus uh, Bridgeworks accelerated WAN? Okay, let me give you an example. Between London and New York, it's about 100 milliseconds. And if you actually um, transmit a series of packets on TCPIP, because we don't use anything else, we use TCPIP, your round trip would be about 10 round trips. So if you're transmitting uh, 4K packets, you can only do about 40K. With that 10 gig link, with our technology on there, you will get 1 gigabyte per second. And that really gives you around about 90 to 98% of the utilisation of the way. If you don't use us, typical um, uh, utilisation on the land is about 5%. So that's the difference we make to bring the, the investment we made in, in that way to the land. Some of our customers are big American Department of Defence and they have a large amount of That's where we see a lot of the initial um, sales coming through. But we have to start with the Nebola to start using some of this technology. David, tell us a little bit about Bridgeworks history, what you do, um, the opportunities for channel partners. We're known as an engineering company. What we're trying to do now is with a dedicated sales team, sales team to actually turn us into a sales company as well. And that's one of the things why we like to move over. It's because they are they understand the technology and they can do the sales. Do you want to explore a little bit more about benefits for channel? Every new vendor we bring on, we must be able to show benefits to our resellers. I think with Bridgeworks, it's not just about accelerations. Acceleration and optimization, there is cyber security that comes into play. There's also um, high speed bridges. There's a number of products that actually fall under the Bridgeworks banner. Um, and also sitting alongside the SD-WAN world, um, which again is something that is very important to end users. Again, optimising what they've already brought, how can they get the most out of it. So again, our customers should be able to go and have a conversation with these end users. Say, so, do you do SD-WAN? Do you use you know, high-speed um, connectivity? Okay, well look, we can make it even better. You don't need to have to go and upgrade it. Um, in, and put more money into it. With Bridgeworks, we can actually give you a solution that gives you a number of boxes ticked, as well as um, a technical English 